got a fantastic brand new product here from MultiWeeCopter.com. It's the Sirius Paris Air, or the Paris Sirius Air. It's the brand new multi-rotor controller from them, and it is incredibly different from what we've known in the past as the Paris board. Style-wise, if we can just sit the two together, it's a lot smaller. It's got a metal case on it. Uh, and the engineering that's gone into this is simply mind-blowing. Um, I don't normally do this sort of thing, but I'm actually going to open the case and show you what's inside because it is a work of art. This little circuit board, this, does everything this does. Just with a few minor limitations, but I have flown this now and it flies the same. There is no difference flying it between the two. It is stunningly good, but this thing has just, from an engineering point of view, is just miles ahead of what we knew as Paris. The first thing I'm going to point out is that it's got a micro USB connector on it, and it's driverless. You plug this into any computer and it just connects and works. You don't have to find drivers, you don't have to mess around, you just plug it in and the software connects to it. Uh, just a word, if you've got a Mac, it will tell you that it's a keyboard, you just ignore that and keep going. And on a PC it just plugs in and works. One of the things you just can't see and appreciate is this is actually a four layer circuit board. The reason for the full layer circuit board is that uh, one of the things Quentin really wanted to do was have all the connectors at the one end. So down here we've got the receiver inputs and then we've got the motor outputs. Okay, I'm going to pop it back in the case before I go on with the features. But to get all, that cr all those connections crammed and wired in from that one end, he's had to go to a full layer circuit board to make it all work. And the other big design thing about it is, that I'll go into, is the case. Now, previously with the um, Paris board, the sensor board had to be on a big pad of, of um, isolation material to stop the vibes getting into the sensors. This uses mass. The actual weight of the case is what reduces the vibrations getting into the sensors. The case also shields the barometer, which is in here, so that doesn't have the issues with having to stick foam on it, mess around with it installation-wise. All you have to do to make this work on your quad frame is stick it down with some double-sided tape, plug your motors and receiver in, and fly the thing. The, even the standard PIDs are just beautiful out of the box. It just flies very nicely. But inside this case is a 3-axis gyro, a 3-axis accelerometer, and a fully shielded barometer. Now the only thing missing from your Paris is the, magnet, the magnetic sensor, which you don't want in here anyway, because most of us are cutting the track on these anyway because we're using the GPS module, and that's got the magnet on it, the magnetic sensor on it. And in fact, this does even have a port for a GPS on it. So you can run this with the GPS module and away you go. Um, technically, it's a lot different from the Paris board. Um, on a Paris board, the outputs to go out to the PWM outputs to go out to the ESCs have to go through a processing chip. These are hardwired outputs. So there's no code required. They just direct. It's a direct hardware connection from the from the processor out to the ESCs. So you actually do notice in flight, it's just the motors are just that little bit more reactive. Um, it's got four motor outputs on it, plus two gimbal outs. But because of the code bloat we're seeing with multi Wii version 2.2 code. You can't load both at the same time, so you can't run a gimbal and GPS, unfortunately. Uh, that's just because of the code bloat. But there is some code coming that should actually allow us to uh, open up 
a bit more functionality within this, but uh, that's probably a little way away away. If you don't want to run the GPS, you can actually run the OLED off this for tuning and stuff like that. But um, all in all, this is just a, a really cool bit of gear. You notice this wire hanging out. That's the uh, trigger wire for the OLED. So really, it does everything your Paris board does, but better, simpler, and easier. And it's two-thirds the price of a Paris board. Now, this does have more features. This does have a little bit more memory. It will run more code. It will do more things, right? This won't run a hex and a gimbal, for instance. But just from a technology point of view and a design point of view, it is light years ahead. Plus, solid metal case. You can just stick this on top of your airframe. Don't have to protect it. Don't have to cover it. It's tough. It's going to take some knocks. It's just a really simple, easy install. Just connects. Just works. You don't have to be a software expert to make it go. It's just gorgeous. And uh, having flown it, it flies exactly the same as the Paris. It's just a lovely, beautiful piece of engineering. Absolutely gorgeous. So... Little arrow for the USB connector shows you where the full front is. Just going over again, you've got the GPS socket on the side. And at the back, we've got the labeling saying motors one through four, and then AO and A and A1 are your gimbal outputs if you're going to use it. Now, just note those motor outputs are a different um, uh, order to an existing Paris board, so you do need to uh, swap. The connections around but on the website is the motor wiring chart um, and if you order it with the correct software loaded literally you just plug it in and play uh, the connector just underneath there for the um, for the transmitter for the receiver inputs uses the same lead the receiver input lead that you use on a Paris board so it's uh, same connector for the GPS, so it's all compatible with the existing hardware, and there it is. The Sirius Paris Air. It's just a lovely piece of engineering. Um, and for those of you who just want a rocket ship quad or a really simple tricopter, this is the this is the, the flight controller to buy. So uh, it's on the website. Go have a look at the details. Um, Quinton has done a marvellous job on this. 